uh, player in the uh, pretty much. He was a uh, really good. Either was PR'd or like almost PR'd in Smash Four. He kept on the grind. You already know, man. And he's coming out swinging in Ultimate with the Roy. He's got the Meta Knight as well, but uh, really, really solid player. Um, and he's currently PR'd in SoCal as well right now. So he definitely, definitely going in. Um, from the Inland Empire, a uh, bunch of the, one of the sub-regions in SoCal. SoCal's a very large area. The state of California is humongous. So, yeah. And then Kong Kong's from the Orange County area, very close to where Wins and It Fights actually is held. Of course, you already know, man, you guys saw Kong Kong get the reverse 3 0. So now up against Cyro, a very uh, popular character, um, Roy. Uh, I feel like Roy is just, he was a really fun character to play. A lot of people in Smash 4 like played Roy for fun, but it was really hard to use him in bracket. And I'm so happy that Roy is good in this game. It's, uh, it's very, very awesome. And of course, with the addition of Krom as well. So two very popular characters and very prevalent characters in the meta as well, even in terms of top level play. So let's get it. I'm going to start off here on Battlefield. Um, pretty, pretty good stage to start off on. Obviously, for the most part, you don't want to play against Luigi on Final Destination. And wow, the parry. And I loved that Cyro went right into the shield after as well. Very, very smart. Um, that down B is very laggy. It is amazing. It has multiple hits. There's intangibility on the startup, I believe, uh, around like frame two. So it's actually better to combo break with uh, down B rather than there for Luigi. But obviously, pros and cons to the move. Very, very punishable. Oh, the dash attack, but not fully connecting the edge guard. Ooh, the downer was so close to hit for Kong Kong. And I, I got the chat up as well, guys. So uh, if you guys got any questions, you know. It, I'm not the only one commentating this match. We're doing it together. Because I don't have a co commentator. All right, so on the ledge here, and Kong Kong really trying. And something that's so interesting is, oh, another down B gets punished, but Kong Kong is surviving. Cyro opting for the trump here and the fourth throw. Wow, that like low key almost looked like it was gonna kill, but there's the plunger though, not gonna be able to make it back. Uh, Krom and Roy definitely known for not having the greatest recoveries. I think Krom's is a little bit better just because you can like uh, use it with directional air dodge. Are we gonna see the zero to death? No. With the zero, and we, you saw how Cyro mixed his DI up. He was going out, then he went back in, which is why Kon Kon couldn't zero to death him and just had to zero to 90 him instead, you know. Wow, that plunger is so good. But Cyro saving the double jump, but Kon Kon getting the roll right after, uh, after pressuring him, oh, just gonna hold it. Oh, no punish though. Cyro almost was able to squeeze in that forward air. Yeah, what a comeback. And yeah, just like that, I mean, Luigi, I, I just love that they made him more, like, he still suffers from the weaknesses he had, but like I said, man, there's so many characters in his ultimate that are more well-rounded. Now Luigi's dash attack's like usable, you know what I mean? Like, there's so much tools in his arsenal that are just much better. and. Obviously, the dash grab or his grab getting hit was a big nerf, but there's a bunch of utility with that move. And man, just like that, Cyro taking that stock. Stocks are even here, but Hong Kong with that 50 lead right now, racking out a, a ton of damage. One thing they didn't change. Ooh, and yeah, that Tomahawk not going to work out. The up B out of shield to get off me, but the back throw, horrible situation right now here for Cyro. The plunger does not connect. He had the double jump, so it was looking good. Oh, and that get up attack will get punished. Up smash out of shield here for Mr. Con Con taking game number one. Bang bang, baby. Yeah, there's a, a lot of a lot of Smash 4 vets that didn't make it onto the PGR, man. Looking grim for the SKT boys. I, I, I don't think any of like I don't think anti or Larry are gonna get on the PGR, which is pretty wild. But I feel like they just kind of have to get into the groove of the game, you know. It's a, it's a different game, and I, this game is also just more competitive in terms of just like how much people play the game too, and it's more balanced. So there's like so many matchups you got to learn. There were so many top players that were having troubles in the beginning, like finding characters and stuff too. So I, I definitely don't count any of the uh, Smash Four vets out, but there's a ton of young blood that just really, really want it, man. And shout out to them, dude. All the young blood making it work, coming out, swinging, working real hard, grinding. You already know, man, it's all about the grind. 
Yeah, I mean, there, there's a lot of people that disagree with a lot of things with PGR, but at the end of the day, man, when you're making something like that, it, you're definitely not going to please anyone, or please everyone, not anyone. You're, you, you can't please everyone because there's so many different ways you can do something like top 50. You know what I mean? There's, there's so many different things you can prioritize, like big wins or placings and even like upsets, how it like affects you negatively. There's a... Uh, there is so many ways to do it, so definitely um, not everyone's going to agree with it for sure, but oh wow, and oh he has the double jump, okay. Alright, we're both at three stocks apiece, that should be the punish, the forward smash cross stage, excellent DI coming out from Con Con, just riding that, barely that upper uh, blast zone, and the down B is going to connect, and even with Syro uh, DIing that correctly, that move can be very, very tricky to DI, it just... It happens so fast, and you're sometimes you're bouncing back and forth, and the Luigi can move where they're, they're um, where they're at. So a lot of people will get crossed up from that. Oh man, here's the damage. The, the rage is online. Oh, he, I like that he tried to end it with the back air into edge guard because with the rage, it's really hard to get the zero to death. And Cyro was already like kind of dying like to the right, so he couldn't get the zero to death anyway because he would eventually just end up off stage. Oh, but there's the forward tilt. Another get-up attack will be punished. Another great thing about this game is get-up attack is fully intangible. It was, uh, it was pretty silly in Smash 4 when you try to go for get-up attack and, like, trade or just straight-up get beaten out by certain options. Definitely not the biz, but I feel like ledge trapping is overall more consistent because of that. Oh, the back throw. Man, that throw is so powerful. Using the plunger setup. Yeah, you, you can see how... How much utility that Zare Luigi has is really what it really brings to the table. Very nice. Um, punishing jab on block isn't the uh, easiest thing to do, so uh, you got to be really, really ready for it or just have really, really quick reactions to get that uh, punish on the jab on shield from Krom and Roy. Now Mr. Konkon up an entire stock here. Ooh, Saro going for the schmix up, baby. That was clean. He, he didn't get the stock, but you know what? I, I appreciate it, man. That, that was that was clean. Okay, there's the jabs. Kong Kong looking like a very, very solid position. You see him just controlling right underneath that platform. And the one thing about being underneath the platform, you just don't really have to worry about your opponent. Oh my, wow. And we were talking about the plunger setups all set. We're just, I was talking about all night. And now you guys get to see a plunger setup that true comboed right into that down air that spiked him into the abyss. Great. Great game number two coming out from Kong Kong, man. My boy looking clean right now. He looking like he's back, baby. Try to catch up with the chat real quick. Oh, and it looks like we got, I, I mentioned it earlier, you know, he's got the Meta Knight on deck. Um, Meta Knight, I personally don't think very highly of the character. Um, I think he's like, mid-tier, maybe top of mid. Uh, like, you can definitely still win with the character, and he's still got, like, some of the same stuff he had in Smash 4. But I, I just feel like, compared to all what everyone else got, uh, yeah, just not too impressive for me. But you can definitely still get a lot of Ws with the character. Still has a very, he, he still has, like, very great uh, dash attack. He has disjoints. His offstage is incredibly strong because of the multi-jumps and like very uh, great hitboxes like neutral air, down air for edge guarding. Okay, gets Trump, and that down B is a very nice mix up out of this advantage. The forward smash, anti-air trade coming in for Cyro. Gonna take that first stock here, game number three on the Kalos. The plunger set up by the ledge. Oh, the jabs, good punish, but not a killing punish. Oh, and there's the slash mix up. You can either do the slash or no slash from the dimensional cape. And because shield drop actually takes so long in this game, if they uh, if they expect the slash and they shield, by the time like you land, you pretty much have enough time to like reset, like it's safe. So it, it's pretty much a coin toss, which is such a nice thing to have in this game, especially added on with the double jumps as well, or not double jumps, the multiple jumps that Meta Knight has. But that slash is gonna get punished from Kon Kon with the kicks, man. All right, so Mr. Con Con. Yeah, and you see Cyro abusing those multiple jumps. Meta Knight, a character with multiple jumps, but not the greatest air mobility, so he, he kind of needs the multiple jumps, honestly. 
because if he didn't, he would be very similar to Luigi, man. Luigi, a character with really bad air mobility and no multiple jumps, which is why it can be so hard for Luigi to recover, which is another reason why I really like this counterpick coming out from Cyro. Uh, Luigi, very not so great recovery, in my opinion, so Meta Knight is a character that can definitely abuse that. He's up B, and he's going to continue the edge guard. The oh, he nared. I wonder if he wanted back here there. Because there's a lot of times, if uh, because of the buffering system, you'll you'll get nair. Oh, and right there, Kon Kon maybe doing the wrong input of the sorts. Maybe just not having another double jump. But Cyro will get that edge guard, and we've seen Cyro just going for these edge guards all all game, man. I mean, he's really put himself out there with Man Knight. The down air out of shield to counteract the cross up. Very very clean stuff. He, he it's not like he gets a ton of damage off of it, but um, having answers to cross up in this game is so so important. And the up smash, even on the platform, not enough. Kalos' high ceilings really coming in clutch here for Cyro. Ooh, I like the dash back forward smash. Try, again, Cyro is out here with trying to get these Gimp fan, trying to use the multiple jumps, trying to use that uh, very meaty hitbox being the neutral air, and still alive even after the Cyclone hit. Okay, Kon Kon. And you see that plunger actually forcing him off the ledge there. And because it forces him off the ledge, Kon, Kon can also be like, okay, I'm going to react. I'm going to set the plunger up. He's going to have to get off. Then from there, react. The parry, wow, he wasn't ready for it. And the back throw, the yeet, will definitely do it here for Mr. Kon, Kon. One stock apiece. Can he get the can he get the Luigi combos cooking? Because that, that is pretty much uh, the one. I mean, definitely uh, Luigi's biggest strength, in my opinion, is that punish game is so strong. Definitely a little harder to hit the grab in this game compared to... Uh, Smash 4, but if you get it though, still get those amazing combos and even like little straight combos like that. But Peekaboo right behind, and Cyro just loves that down. He, he loves to be, he can be aggressive with it. He just loves the mix ups that come with it. I won't say he like always swings, obviously, obviously he mixes it up, but right there, netting that game with the dimensional crate. Great stuff from Cyro. Now let's see if he can make this reverse 3 0. Not just a dream, but a reality here with this Meta Knight. And I like it because, you know, with Roy, it was definitely more ledge trap centric. Uh, Roy, not a character that goes off stage too often. I feel like Krom actually goes off stage more because he doesn't have to hit a certain part of the hitbox. So, like, drop zone fair is a lot more of a consistent option. Ooh, the up tilt, ooh, big damage, man. Look at that, 75% already on this Meta Knight. Up B, gonna go to the ledge. Somewhat of a safe option. You don't get put in the best position, but you know, going for that stock, you got to know when and where to make uh, make all these decisions for risk war, and that's what makes just fighting games in general, man, really, really tough, really, really hard to do, especially for Smash, because there's no life bars. You can't like in traditional fires, you could literally just jab your opponent to death, because eventually their life will go down. But in Smash, you got to nail the edge guard, you got to nail like the killing blow, and Kong Kong going high with the double jump. Oh, wow, and Kon, Kon didn't even really commit to shield there, and he still couldn't really get that punish. Beautiful tech, and Cyro actually going to be the one to fall there in that edge guard attempt. Helvet with the let's go, Kon, Kon. Oh, man, big damage, and we, yeah, and because of the rage, you see he didn't really, he got popped up too high, but still, 63%, but the punish, the scoops on that up B. Can we talk about it, man? That move has so much range. And up B being one of the uh, better options out of shield, especially because you don't have to jump squat anymore as well. You can just go straight into the up B or up smash out of shield here. And we got the parries on the fireball. Cyro knows he's got the lead. He doesn't have to approach. Kon, Kon is the one that eventually has to come in if Cyro pleases. He has the right to camp. Oh, there's a dash attack into forward air. Good damage. Luigi is a floatier character, so can be a little harder to uh, combo off dash attack for Meta Knight. Oh. Didn't get the jab lock there. Thought he was going to attack in. Oh, man. And big damage with that forward smash. Sends him in a horrible position here. And still at the ledge. Oh, Cyro. Okay, Nair out of shield. Yep, great. And that forward smash. Wow. And but Luigi does have a, like, disjoint kind of deal with uh, Meta Knight charging forward smash. Meta Knight's forward smash has extremely low end lag, very similar to a character like Wolf, so it can be hard to punish some of these smash attacks on shield or on whiff. Pairing is easy. Uh, pairing is definitely harder than perfect shielding, but it's like there's also bias in that because, you know, we've all been, or people that have been playing Smash for a long time have been perfect shielding the whole time, so 
feel like, yeah, I, mean, I don't think carrying is like crazy hard. I, I feel like it's more so just like people getting used to it, you know? Oh, the jab mix of this back throw from center stage still not enough. That back throw is extremely strong, but guess not from center stage. Will not do the trick, but the rising up air will take Cyro off the top now. Mr. Konkon with the lead here in this game, number four. The tech chase situation on the platform, but oh, getting the grab, big damage. That's a little trickier because he only had a little bit of room to work with on that platform, but still, nonetheless, getting what, 47, now 50. Hong Kong really making a count here into the upbeat. Not quite enough. Maybe one more up air, but Sour probably just wanted to cash out right then and there. Okay. And Hong Kong knows he has the lead, does not have to approach. Uh, Saro is the one that has to deal with all this. Oh man, and the, um, the side B, the green missile actually hitting Cyro there. He techs it, but still takes a lot of damage. And now Konkon is back on stage as well. I love the down, uh, down tilt spacing here on Cyro. Whoa, we got... Yo, he was definitely mashing. He thought he was gonna get grabbed, so he was mashing. I don't, definitely don't think that taunt was uh, intentional. <laughs> Hope you kind of awkward though, you know. But the down B off the top, yes, there it is. And Con Con will take that set going 3 1 here against Cyrus. That is definitely not a taunt to get body moment. Oh, yo, but I got my man Tempo about to join me on the on the mic. Um, I, I don't know if you're on. It looks like Javi's turning uh, on right now. Yep. What's up, Tempo? How you yo, doing? Yo, yo. Yeah, just had to get a few uh, rundacks, some money matches. But, uh, anyways, I am back on. The mics for tonight. Now we just had Kong Kong versus Cyro, and I believe that was winners semis. No, that was winners finals. That was winners finals. My bad. Yeah, we're 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 coming up towards the end of this tournament. Oh. I don't know if this is losers semis or losers.